So one of the things we've been working on lately in class is how to dilate a shape. Um, so one of the fun things, I, I would hope it would be fun, but I think some people had some difficulties doing it, is we're going to be dilating a symbol. So we're going to be dilating the Batman logo, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I think a lot of people were having some difficulties, and I wanted to clear some of those up using the same tools that you're going to have in class. So here we go. You have this Batman logo. Now, a few things that we're going to have. We're going to have a ruler available to us. We get this shape, right? We have a point right here, which is where we're going to be dilating from. And we know that we're going to be dilating by a scale factor of 2. So what that means is, anytime I measure from this point to one of the points on here, the distance between that is going to increase from this distance to that distance times 2. So for example, I'm going to use centimeters because I think it's easiest. If I say I use this point right here, right, right on the end of the tail, I'm going to put my pencil there and then I'm going to line up the ruler so it touches it and the zero touches the point right there. So from there, I'm going to notice that it is about 4.6 centimeters. 4.6 times 2 is going to give us what? It should be 9.2. So we go up here all the way to 9.2. We're going to draw a circle. And we're going to draw ourselves a little point. So that, if we just dilate this symbol, this shape, by scale factor of 2 from this point, we're going to get that right there. Okay, so from there, so we've got this point. Next, I'm going to do this point right here in the middle of the bat head. So if we have that lined up there, we have my pencil on here. It's going to come to about 7.4. So 7.4 times 2 is going to come out to 14.8. So it should be right about here. We know it should be centered right there. All right, next, I'm going to go to this point. And I'm just going to go through and do this whole side. I'm actually even going to add a point right here and right there. I'm just going to do this whole side. So, here we go. Right there, that is 7.3, which is going to give us 14.6. here is a guess right because our number here is going to go past 7.5 on my ruler so if it's going past 7.5 then I know that it's going to go past 15 centimeters up here so if I just take a second and I connect all my dots here Look at that, we have exactly half of it. So one other thing we can do is we can use some symmetry to our advantage. So if we notice, if I to draw a line right in the middle here, I can see that I have one half on this side, and now I can just figure out these points by reflecting over this line. So for example, I have my ears right here, so I know that this is going to be over here. So this is one, two, three, two, three. So right here, if you'll notice, I'm just gonna keep noticing which point I'm on and then I'm going to keep moving a little bit further. So I can see, for example, this one matches up with here and then it's going to go about one this way. These are right here, then I go one that way in there. Now this one's going to go one down. So I go one down and then one and a half. One and a half. Okay, next I'm going to go about one and a half down and then one over. 
next I'm going to go about two down and in a little bit. From there I'm going to go two down and then two in. From there I'm going to go about one over and then up a little bit. And then, ooh, then it's going to get a little challenging. I'm actually going to go from here now. Actually, I'm going to connect my dots first. All right, so that goes to the hook there. All right, so I come from here. This is about one over. This is going to go one over and then about a half right there. And there you have it. So from there, the hard part might be trying to get that circle around the edge. So one thing we can certainly do is set up some corners, right? Some edges. And get back to using our ruler. So this one we're probably not going to quite be able to reach. But what I can do is figure out this one. So this is exactly seven. So then seven from there is so gonna go to fourteen. And I might want some intermediate ones about here. And there you have it. That's your Batman logo, it's dilated by a scale factor of two. So I hope you enjoyed it. In total, this took about 15 minutes. So I guess it took a little bit longer than I had anticipated. I thought I had done it quicker. And that was because I used not only dilation with centimeters, um, but I also then used reflection to flip over the page and have, have an easy time finding those second pieces. So I hope you enjoy this activity. Um, I know I enjoyed it and I think I'm gonna go color right in. There.